Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to tell you about how my Google Play Publisher account has been terminated. Okay, so I've talked about this before, but one of my big fears is that my Google Play account will get suspended or terminated. Not just a single application, but the entire account. And we have that three strikes policy on Google Play, where if you have like three suspensions and like, I think it's like a six month period of time, then they'll just shut down your whole account. So your account has to be in good standing. And when I tell people about this fear, people who are not app developers, they say, well, what are you doing wrong? Why would Google suspend your account? And my answer is always, I don't know, right? So many people get their accounts suspended that it's just, it's one of those scary things. It's not so much that I think that I'm violating the policies, but I'm afraid of the algorithm. Well, last night it finally happened. My Google Play account got terminated. I was at a school function, uh, just you know, at my kid's school, and I happened to check my emails, which I shouldn't have done, but I checked it and I saw the email come through to say, Notification from Google Play. This is a notification that your Google Play publisher account has been terminated. Reason for termination, multiple violations of the developer program policies and developer distribution agreements outlined previous emails sent to the register thing. So basically it says multiple strikes, right? And I was like, dude, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong, right? And I was just, I, I was, my, it was my mind was basing. Once I read this email, I, could, I didn't read anything else. I was just like, I couldn't even pay attention to what was going on at the school. I was just like, white as a sheet thinking, oh my God, I don't have a Google Play account anymore. Like all my apps, everything is just, it's just been removed, right? What am I, what am I gonna do? I'm an app developer. In fact, my whole thing is, my name is Eric, I make apps. I have clients, I have all this kind of stuff. How embarrassing is this? And then I went through and read the previous email. So once I calmed down a little bit and I did appeal it, uh, I, went, I went home immediately. I was not very, not very good as a parent, I guess, in this kind of situation. But I went home immediately and then I saw the email that preceded it, which was one of my apps was suspended last night just prior to it. So I think that was probably a third strike because I've had the ear, so I've had this whole thing with my ear spy, ear agent applications being suspended and then appealed and then I would, I would make the changes they asked for, I would do it and then the algorithm will suspend them again. So finally I thought, I'm just not gonna touch it anymore, right? I'm, I don't like all those suspensions, right? Even though I get it appealed by a human, the algorithm goes and removes it. So I thought, I'm just not gonna do it anymore. So I knew those are all my strikes. So I haven't really been doing a whole lot with Google Play account. I mean, I've been very, very, very safe. Well, they removed one called Spanish Bubble Bath, which I did about five years ago. And the reason they removed it was because it violates the sensitive events policy. It says, um, we do not allow apps that lack reasonable sensitivity towards or capitalize on a natural disaster, atrocity, conflict, death, or other tragic event. Dude, it's a Spanish language learning application. It has like vocabulary, like one, two, three, four, five. It's got categories like colors and, you know, and you know, p pronouns and things like that. It's just like a simple Spanish learning game. And I think what's happened here, and the only thing I can think of is the coronavirus. I think the algorithm thinks that somehow because I released a Spanish game, I mean, years ago, and, and the reason it came up for review probably was because we had to make a few changes to the metadata. It all started yesterday morning where we got an email saying, you have too many keywords in your metadata, go through and change it. We changed it. Uh, I think we changed it twice throughout the day. And then we got the suspension saying it violates the sensitive events policy, which is ridiculous, right? So I've appealed it. And once I read that, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit less freaked out. You might be thinking, you don't look so freaked out about having your account terminated, but dude, last night I was really, really kind of freaking out because I don't know, right? It's just, I don't know, I couldn't figure out why they would do it. And then you, it's just getting a, a real person on there. So my suspicion is that the coronavirus somehow affects this. You know, it's, um, uh, I, had a, uh, I had a video a couple weeks ago uh, demonetized because it was all about how Corona SDK had been removed and I think they thought I was trying to capitalize on the coronavirus and try to be you know unsensitive about that kind of stuff which was had nothing to do with it but it was just the same name and I think that's kind of the situation here too and to be to be frank with you I'm sure there's some 
developers out there who are trying to use those keywords or try going on Google Trends, seeing that that's what everybody's talking about and releasing you know, unsensitive apps about it. But mine has nothing to do with it. So I'm reasonably confident that the appeal will go through. Hopefully my account will be uh, switched back on. All I could do is hope, right? I, I could hope because I didn't do anything wrong, but it's just one of those things where, um, I, I said this before and I'll say it again, it's not the policies that I don't trust, it's not the people that I don't trust, it's the algorithms. The algorithms have to cover so much that they'll shut you down before they even investigate any further. And I'm gonna appeal and I, I think I have a high chance of it being you know, overturned because like, I didn't do anything wrong. It's like a language learning app you know, directed at you know, language learners. Not, it has nothing to do with anything like that, but it's still, it's a kick in the face it's, you know, it's, when I deal with clients and I talk about this kind of stuff, they say, but, but we're not doing anything wrong, but we're not doing anything wrong, but this is just the kind of stuff that you have to deal with. And, um, and it, like, the embarrassing part about it is, if for some reason nobody listens to my appeal, which would be ridiculous, then it's embarrassing to have like a YouTube channel where I talk about apps and my Google Play account has been closed, or I work with clients building applications for them and my Google Play account has been, has been terminated. But um, I think it's all a mistake. Obviously, it's an error, right? There's, there's nothing wrong with that application. Uh, and um, you know, my account has always been in good standing, but you know, this kind of stuff happens. I, every week on the live stream, I, I talk with people who say their account has been terminated and you know, what should they do? And I, I never know the answer because it's never happened to me. But now it has. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you because this is like big, heavily on my mind. Uh, I'll keep you posted over the next few days to see how the appeal goes through. Uh, but I want to let you know that this this happens, well, it happens to so many people that I know and it's happened to me now. Uh, and yeah, I don't want to set up another account. I don't know if I can set up another account. I, you know, I've had the same Gmail account for the last 15 years. I don't want to go set up a new Gmail account so that I could, just so I could set up a new Google, Google, Google developer account and go through that whole song and dance again. So anyway. I'm sharing this with you. I was tempted not to share it with you because it's it's kind of embarrassing, but um, it is what it is. You know, my Google Play account has been, my Google Developer account has been terminated. I you know, I've been tr I've tried very hard to follow all the rules, but you know, the coronavirus is going to affect us in lots of different ways, and I never suspected it would be in this way. But uh, anyway. I hope, you, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you've had a similar kind of thing, especially recently in the last few weeks where you have an application uh, terminated for this, a similar kind of reason, please put it in the comments because I'd really like to hear about it. Uh, maybe it's not just me. But um, anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.